want to ask you to be silent so that I make my maiden speech. I stand on this podium for the third time, swollen with pride and full of expectation. I salute you. Today we gather here not to celebrate a victory of an individual or a party, but to celebrate and mark a new beginning, the rebirth of Bungoma County. I have just shown before you the people of Bungoma County, all Kenyans and the Almighty God, and I shall uphold my oath. I will protect the gains we have made as a country in general and Mongoma County in particular. Nelson Mandela aptly said, and I quote, it's not where you start, but how high you aim that matters for success. Exactly five years ago, exactly five years and four days ago, I handed over this mandal that I'm receiving today. I accept for the second time with great humility the distinct honor which you, the people of Bungoma, have conferred upon me in electing me the third and constitutionally the first governor of Bungo this great county of Bungoma. We have fought a good fight. We have overcome many battles. The most important battle before us now is building Bungoma. I have said this before. My predecessor has only left office. He does not carry away any part of this county. He remains a son of this county along with over 100,000 people who voted for him. I will not lose focus of what is right in the face of who is right. I will not change direction so drastically that I negate the gains that we have achieved in the last five years. I want to thank my able Deputy Honorable Jennifer Batiani, my beloved wife, Dr. Margaret Nafula, my children, Sophie Dara, Winnie, and my mother, for your support and brothers. I am grateful to everyone who participated in this election. Those, those who woke up in the dead of the night and walked miles to reach the polling centers. Those who waited patiently for long hours in line. The many young and old men and women who traversed the length and breadth of the diverse county from Berigidia to Buyofu, from Mwihoko to Nawiole, from Kongil to Jekube, urging the others to vote for me. This victory is yours as well as it's mine. As I assume this new responsibility, the backbone of my leadership will be consultative and answerable to all the people of Bugoma. I promise to be a governor of the people, guided by fairness, honesty, transparency, and accountability. I have lessons carried from my first term and some from my predecessor, and I can say bravely and proudly that it's time to make Bugoma a sunshine county. Transparent and account account accountable, with no hidden vices. My government will not tolerate the notion of a government for the few. Corruption is a vice that pits the able against the weak and powerless. We must stand together to protect the gains of devolution and ensure that corruption remains a very expensive venture in this county. As you elected, as you elected governor, I want to, re to reiterate what I set out in my manifesto and which forms my <coughs> pledge for service. We will strengthen the public service and observe strict adherence to the principles and values of fairness and meritocracy to ensure growth in the various cadre. I will institute an economic council in my office to ensure balanced advisory as opposed to engaging individual advisors. This will ensure greater accountability and collective responsibility of decisions, thus averting asylum mentality. Further, we will mainstream public participation in all departments to achieve consensus of all stakeholders in program implementation, thus attain legitimacy and ownership of all projects. We will prioritize demand-driven interventions that address the key challenges of poverty, inclusivity, and spur economic growth. In agriculture, we will develop a policy guideline to bring locally constituted betting committees to verify actual land available for production to guide issues of input, increase the support to cover more farmers, repair existing tractors and purchase 18 more tractors and distribute to sub-counties covering specific wards. We will work to strengthen the management of the tractors and use, especially payment and verification of parcels of land to be tilled, repair existing maize dryers and purchase more, even as we verify to ensure reach and access by the farmers that most need them. We will operationalize the already installed milk cooling plants, get market for milk and milk products for farmers. 
Then pharma beneficiaries in milk production and value addition. Strengthen existing farmers, dairy cooperatives, help farmers from more dairy cooperatives and link them to dairy processing plants. My government will introduce new varieties of crops such as avocado and French beans for export. In poultry farming, we will build the capacity of poultry farmers on effective commercial Kenyan poultry and encourage them to join existing poultry farmers' cooperative societies to incentivize them further. We will facilitate.